Hey everyone, welcome to the new Hot Seat campaign. I'm playing as Norway in the Britannia campaign. This uh, campaign is going to be a little bit different. Uh, as England starts with a huge advantage in this campaign. Oops. Um, let me try that again. As Norway or uh, England starts off with a uh, huge disadvantage in this campaign, um, Legend of Total War, who is playing as England, is um, going to be allied against all four of the other factions. So I'm playing as Norway here to get into this first turn. Uh, Scotland, who is already my ally, the game was set up, so we pre-started as allies and at war with England. So he's offering me map information for map information. Of course, I'm going to accept. Uh, nothing else really we need to deal with there. Alright, so we have six regions here. Um, and I think Kirkwall. No, not Kirkwall. Uh, what starts with the capital? I guess Castletown. But that's a terrible idea because you want your capital in the middle of your empire, no matter how large it is. Even though this is a terrible region, uh, it still increases my income by quite a bit to be in a mole. Um, so, let's see. I can see Legend of Total War is already taking out my navy here and uh, besieged or blockaded Castletown. There's nothing in the boats, but it is a fairly large navy. So I'm going to have to recruit some boats here uh, to beat him and get off this island. Um, now, I could... I uh, recruit a mercenary ship and head off somewhere, but I'm not sure that's the best idea um, because I can't land anywhere and I only have one boat at my disposal. So if Legend finds me, then I'm um, in trouble because I my navy would be tiny. So I think the best plan at this point is just to recruit a boat here and then next turn I can get the uh, mercenary boat and beat this guy. And um, hopefully that should be good enough as a navy. Um, now, let's see. There's not much people here. So this navy is probably just going to go forth nowhere here. I'm going to receive some reinforcements next turn and they'll arrive right here. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let's get my merchants trading resources. These aren't real value, but but they do increase my. Um, uh, oh, that's better down there. Um, this guy, I don't really have much use to spy on the Scots since he's my permanent ally for this campaign. Um, so I'm going to bring him back up here. I'll put this guy in the there to uh, protect him in case Legend decides to. Come do something. Actually, I'm going to put him in these docks because I'm going to grab. Um, I'm going to be recruiting a few more things over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I let Pikeman uh, raise the tax rate here. Next turn, I'll send these guys into the boats to go attack Legend. And then uh, here, cavalry. We want cavalry as much as possible. And then I guess we'll go with um, some Pikemen. Um, Pikemen are pretty good. Oh, and then I have these guys here in the fort, so I'll bring those along over to Wick. Um, and then let's see what can we do here. Um, oh, raise the tax rate. And then we can recruit this, you know, town militia. It's not real good, but it's the best we can do at the moment. And then these guys will join the boats that spawn in as my reinforcements right there next turn. Uh, let's see what else can we do this turn. We can upgrade this. Looks like we can actually recruit some dudes here. So we'll do that. Um, and actually, I'll, I'll go with more pikemen. I think I know Legend is a very he cavalry heavy player. And uh, he's li those are likely to be good in uh, battles that he fights manually. So um, this settlement's not really useful. So I'm just going to build the. Land clearance, uh, recruiting stuff there already. Um, actually, I'm not going to get the pikemen. I'm going to get the boat because, again, uh, a large problem for me early on in this campaign is going to be getting two legend settlements, and I don't want to have uh, boats get destroyed when it's not my turn. 
so um, I need to have very sizable navies. Uh, here, I'm not really going to be training any more spies from here, so I don't need an in. Might just go to the town hall to keep up public order. And then here, what can we build here? Uh, maybe just rose to increase trade. Uh, I've worked out an agreement with um, da X Dagger, who is playing as Scotland. Uh, I get these two island settlements, because there are some rebel territories in this campaign. So I get these two rebel settlements, and then he gets this one, and I think there's another one around here somewhere. Um, but he gets the two in the mainland, I get the two islands. Um, so yeah, we have X Dagger over here. Uh, we have Total War Fan playing as Ireland. We have Dretchir as Wales, and of course, Legend of Total War as the English. So I think, let me just go through my list here. Let's see, can I recruit anything else here? Oh, I can recruit some other stuff here. Let's get some more cavalry. Um, doing everything we can there, doing everything we can there, doing everything we can. Oh, we can get um, land clearance here. You are there. You're there. That's all my military forces. All my settlements are doing stuff. Um, and then... Uh, I have another spy in Castletown, but he can't really do much this turn. Alright, so that will be it for turn one. Um, as you can see, we're all allied and ready to fight Legend Total War. And that will do it for this turn. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in part two. Goodbye.